Hey guys, it's Dave here from Airsoft GI, and today we are taking a look at this new custom gun we have here in the Texas store that our tech Brian just finished building. We wanted to show this guy off to you. We don't have a name for it yet. So while we're talking about this gun, if you guys think of a cool name, drop it in the comments below so we know what they call this thing. This guy started off life as a Classic Army M110. Uh, it was the shorter key mod version, so the rail originally went over to here. We had a spare 13 inch rail lying around and we went ahead and extended it, but left the original short barrel. We attached this uh, Mad Bull Nevesky amplifier to the end of it, which is what gives it that really cool signature look and it makes it sound extra wicked too, which is super awesome. So. Down the other side, you can see you've got the M110 markings on the magazine well. You've also got a tan grip and a tan stock. We just thought it needed a little pop of color to offset it a bit. You've still got the original factory flip-up sights, front and rear. And we've added this NC Star CPO optic, which we enjoy. It's a magnified optic with an illuminated reticle. We just thought it was something different, something you don't normally see on a gun. So since we tuned this to be a super accurate battle rifle, it makes a really, really nice fit. Now, internally, we didn't do too much. All we really did was beef up the motor and go for a straight, uh, just a straight up tune-up because Classic Army's already come with a ton of great features. They've already got a tight bore barrel, which is what we normally would have done. They've already got really, really great bushings and bearings. They've already got high torque gears. They've already got motors that are really awesome. Although we did upgrade the motor because we just, we, we couldn't get enough, let's be real. We had to do it better. They've already got a great piston. They've already got a great piston head, cylinder, cylinder head. All the internal parts are really just fantastic. We went ahead and left their MOSFET in here too because it makes the trigger response really great. Now, on the stock, we went ahead and went with the PTS EPSC. We found a battery that we really liked for this that fits in the buffer tube, and we said, you know what, let's slim it down a little bit. DMRs can get a little bulky, and since this is meant to be a DMR, but skinnier, we went ahead and went with the EPS. So let's go ahead and shoot this thing. We've got iPro. We have already got an 11 battery loaded up in this bad boy. High cap, nice and full. There are mid caps available for the Classic Army M110s though, and I'm gonna shoot it lefty because I want you guys to see more of the gun than my big old fat body. So range hot! That's pretty wicked. Let's wind it up a little bit more here and we'll give it a quick burst on full auto for you guys to check out. We have it tuned to sit right at 400 FPS which is perfect for most outdoor fields, especially the ones we like to play at here, like D14. And the rate of fire is nothing to shake a stick at too, man. Let's, let's. That's sitting in the high 20s, I believe. And the nice loud pop from the amplifier makes this thing just a dream to shoot. Definitely gonna let everybody know where you're at. It's gonna help you keep heads down too, which maybe that's what we should name it after, I don't know. I'm gonna go back and keep shooting this thing. My name's Dave, we'll see you guys next time here on GITV Uncut.